In this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys a new strategy which I created. In this strategy, you use the Battlecopter with the Dropship, which when paired together gets so much value. So make sure you're using code AG in the shop. It helps support me. It would mean a lot to me. And with that out of the way, let's get to the video. All right, so we are in our first attack here up against Moment. And our plan here is basically use the Dropship almost to tank for the Battlecopter. That way it can get way more value. And I think this might be a good first base to do the, that example. Look, there's two crushers, a mega tesla, a double cannon, all this good stuff over here, only being protected by an arch tower. So we already know the battle is gonna absolutely like destroy this area. And the look at this air bombs all the way on the other side. So I don't even know if we re really need the dropship here, but it's still gonna help us get a little bit further. Let's go ahead and change these minions to a giant. That way the Pekkas will run in from the next side over here. They'll be fine. Let's go. We need to start this quick. I'm only worried about time. Maybe maybe we do bring in the minions. Let's see. Maybe we trade out the... Do we? Okay, so we already know that we don't really need the dropship. So we're going to bring in the minions just to kind of take out some of these buildings a little bit quicker. We're going to toss two here. I think this one's going to get hit by that archer tower. I'm not a thousand percent sure, but I guess ninety percent sure it's going to be in range. And uh, no, I was wrong. Thankfully, I was incorrect. So they're all just going to work around here now. It's been really hard for me to find a new strategy after my cannon card strategy got absolutely obliterated by the baby dragon nerf. But this one I've had been having some success with. I haven't been able to play a lot because as I mentioned, I, uh, I've moved. I'm in a completely new place you guys wouldn't know because this lovely green screen here is going to not change at all. But I am in a new place entirely. So I've been a little bit AFK here, so I'm trying to get back into the meta and stop being absolutely watched at the game. And this attack strategy has been working really well for me. I know this isn't the good first example because typically I want to be using the, uh, the what's it called? Hear me out. The dropship, sorry, to tank for that battle copter. But in this one, we just absolutely do not need it. So we're just going to start in the giant right there. Let's go get everything really quickly all at once going. We're tanking for that roaster with the giant as well. That way our battlecopter can get a little bit further in. And that should take down the Mega Tesla. Beautiful. So there is a ground expo that we might want to worry about. Why don't we just send in a P.E.K.K.A.? I was hoping that would go ad attack the wall. But, you know, can't always have what you want. We're going to get down that roaster really easily. We should use number two's ability on this compartment. Take down that double cannon. Just like that. And then now we can take down the lowered archer tower. And now we can worry about time failing. Wait up. Are we going to time fail? These P.E.K.K.A.s are going a good direction. Oh, that's a big bomb, though. Let's go use their abilities right there. Takes out the Crusher, and I'm thinking this is going to be pretty good. Using number four to take out that wall. We're going to take out the Expo. We're going to get to the Air Bombs. And this was for the first attack. I'm okay with it. We got three P.E.K.K.A.s and a Bomber surviving. And P.E.K.K.A.s have recently gone back into the meta. Now that the Battle Machine got buffed, they're right back where they used to be. And so let's look at the second stage. I usually like bringing cannon carts, but I know there's some Teslas, one right there. There's one up here, and I probably one somewhere over here. So we could get down the double cannon for free, but we will lose that cannon cart. Should we bring in two cannon carts maybe? And then we can take out the Tesla as well. That could be something we do. Uh, all right, you know what? Um, there's a few corner buildings here. We're going to use our first cannon cart like this. Again, we know there's Teslas. There might be one all the way up here. Beautiful, we did not find one. But we're using the cannon cart over here to avoid any push traps and also to attack the double cannon without triggering that Tesla. I think we can do that. I think we should have enough room. And now we're going to move in the cannon cart towards the double cannon. No Tesla, please. There we go. Okay. So with those corner buildings out of the way and also getting down two of these defenses, we're going to be at a straight shot from this corner building with three Pegas in the battle machine to take down two cannons in the mortar. Should be pretty easy. Those guard post units are going to be a little bit um, distracting, but I I'm feeling really good about this right now. So we're going to, why don't we go ahead and we'll start in the battle machine then we'll start in a bomber onto this camp and then we will start in probably number two of the pekkas okay wow oh look he's what no what was that okay um at least we get down the tesla <laughs> i don't i've never seen a bomber do that before i guess that's what happens when they get hit by a push trap let's go one let's go two and three and there's a tesla i told you it'd be there um that might be fine uh these pekkas again they have a bit of a buff now because this battle machine is just going to absolutely do some damage in this compartment once he gets he gets down that elixir collector watch this hear me out one you ready it's it's not done yet two and then 
three and then that is actually going to take down all the defenses and just like that we have ourselves our first six star of the video that bomber getting absolutely flung was a little bit scary but you know we are looking good so i'm gonna play around with the number eight cannon card that way we do not take down the builder hall too early and just like that we have our first example of this strategy absolutely destroying a base we have quite a bit of overkill even with some huge mistakes let's get to the next attack all right next attack here and this looks like a base i'm gonna want to bring in the drop ship on so what is my plan here if we can get that air expo down we could potentially get down the double cannon the crusher the roaster the giant cannon and then that just leaves this compartment for the pekos i am a little worried about that uh, Mega Tesla, of course, maybe, you know, actually, okay, so we are going to go in with the initial plan, let's switch to a dropship, and we want to take down as much of this as we can before we use the dropship, but I need to make sure our Battlecopter isn't getting destroyed, and he will if we put him in the wrong spot, so do we just run it? We might have to, we'll use the dropship ability onto the Crusher, it's not the best spot for it, but I don't really have a great option, let's go Battlecopter goes in, he should take down that in the gold storage and then he'll fly closer and get into the range of the expo and the archer tower. Before he gets there I'm going to start showing you guys my new dropship trick. What it's going to do is it's going to tank for the Battlecopter as I mentioned before and let him get so deep into the base. So you ready? Once he gets his ability also we're going to be in a really good spot. Let's go start it now. Everything is being tanked for this Battlecopter is just having a good time all the way over here we'll use the ability now look at the double splash damage that's another thing that pairs so greatly between the two is the battle copters ability damage plus the dropship ability damage just does so much and now we've taken down that whole compartment why don't we go ahead we'll start in a giant all the way over here see if we can distract the mega tesla a little bit perfect so we're distracting for the mega tesla these pekkas are getting a clear shot all the way into the base now and that <laughs> that poor bomber is just getting absolutely destroyed by the giant cannon okay it finally dodged a shot and then we'll go use another pekka all the way on the outside again we're just trying to distract for as much as we can here just like the baby dragons you want to be cross tanking as much as possible why don't we go do number two and then number one that should take out a good amount of this look the battlecopter is still alive normally the battlecopter would have been long gone by now but because we used him with the dropship he is still alive and still tanking for so much here hopefully does he tank for that tesla no he does not that is going to hurt a little bit but as i mentioned the fact this battlecopter is still alive we still have a pekka with the ability we still have the bomber and now the battlecopter could fly over and take out that army camp it's going to take him a second i just use his ability but allowing him he's at full health still at the end of the first stage and he got a lot of value he got down that mega tesla he got down this whole compartment and now he's going to help clean up that was a lot of value for just one troop and the battle copter to get and that is why i think the drop ships might be the most powerful troop right now is they're so creative you can put them all drop ships you can put them drop ships minions drop ships pekkas drop ship and the battle copter and they'll get unlimited value so next base how do we take this one out we could, do we bring in the battle machine or do we bring in the cannon carts? We already got a lot of value out on the first stage. I think we found all the Teslas. I don't know for sure if we found all the Teslas. Sometimes they hide one here. Let's go count defenses. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I, I think he has one Tesla here. So how do we get this one down? We could use the battle copter and take out a huge compartment over here. That might be what we're going to do, honestly. Why don't we, but we need a drop ship. No, we don't need a dropship. We're gonna, we're just gonna run it as is, and hope for the best. So here comes a battlecopter from one corner. Let's start in the cannon carts from the next corner, just like I did last time. We're gonna be pairing them together and taking out this corner hut from a really long distance away. A lot of times, what defenders are gonna do is they're gonna put push traps in the line where the cannon cart would walk from taking out the building. So this isn't necessarily like super necessary but it's pretty pretty smart to do that way you're avoiding any chance of running into those issues so let's continue them along this line here we want this battle copter to take out what do we want him to get the double cannon and the multi-mortar i think are what's most necessary so if at least getting down the multi-mortar um if he goes a little bit further i would obviously not complain but i don't think he will and we need to get down this crusher and then there's just two cannons left if we can get all that down obviously it's kind of a big if but i'm really hopeful that they're actually going to do that let's go use the ability i don't think he'll be in range perfect he's not in range of the other firecracker now he's going to take down that crusher and the multi-mortar and the archer i guess extra value and that is going to allow us to just honestly we don't really need the pekkas here we're going to use them because it'll be a waste not to but we don't need them 
there is the Tesla we were talking about. And there, there goes the multi-mortar. We got to just use the P.E.K.K.A.s now for time, I think, is really what this is going to come down to. Using the bomber, and then we're going to take down this. Uh, ooh, we got to make sure we're getting that. All right, perfect. There goes that cannon. And then now, ooh, the cannon's not all the way down either. Okay, that's all right. We're just going to kind of run it. There we go. There's the cannon down now. We are going to lose a cannon cart to that Tesla. That was a little bit messy of me. But we should still get this. The Tesla's also got a damage nerf. And with that, we used the Battlecopter on both stages. It got so much value. And this is just showing you how powerful the Battlecopter can be when paired with the dropship. All right, another base here. Let's go see what we can do. Um, funnily enough, this looks like a base I built, but I don't think it is. And immediately, look at this section right here. We get down Archer Tower, Ground Expo, Roaster, Air Bombs. Um, maybe we could get the Giant Cannon. That is really the most valuable place we could go. It's just, I don't know if we need, might, we might need two dropships for that. And let's think, two dropships. I think it's worth it. Yeah, yeah, that, that's worth it. So we're going to switch to the two dropships. We're going to hope that this is going to allow the Battlecopter to get all the way to the Mega Tesla and the Double Cannon with the extra investment of another dropship. Let's take out the corner buildings and then we'll use the dropships one at a time. The first one, we really want to get onto the Roaster. That would get us the most value. It is a big if, but I would really, really love to get there. And then the second one is just going to go wherever it needs help. So I think he's going to fly straight in now. Let's see if we find a Tesla. That would be a good place for a Tesla. Um, pretty close. I don't know if we should use anything on there yet. Let's go. We're going to put the next one onto the Archer Tower. That way we are avoiding getting to that Tesla. Now we can freely use this ability. Boom. There goes a whole lot that's going to be able to let the Battlecopter ability pretty much finish this whole section off once we get it all the way over there. And this is looking really, really good so far. I am a little worried that we aren't going to get down the Mega Tesla though. So let's go see if we can get into the range of all this. That's looking good. Um, why don't we go use the Bomber ability right onto this. Okay. And that is in range of, of our um, uh, good friend, the Lava Launcher. That's all right. And now the Battlecopter is going towards the Giant Cannon. He is in range of the Mega Tesla. Let's see if we can take advantage of that. We're finding some more Teslas. This one's going to be the bit hardest one we've done so far. Let's use the P.E.K.K.A. ability. Look at that takedown so much. How did that even take down that much? We do get down the... What's it called? We do get down the Giant Cannon. Now watch this double P.E.K.K.A. ability. One, two, boom, bang. There goes everything. And guys, it was looking so sketchy for a second there. But now it, it looks like we're going to have a good amount of overkill left over. And that is all thanks to this Battlecopter getting so much value. You saw two dropships and the Battlecopter took down pretty much half the base. The Pekkas are going to have no issue finishing this part off. Let's go to the second stage and see if we can do it. There is 20 seconds left. He has a sneaky corner building there. I guess I probably should have taken that out earlier. But with the two Pekkas, unless we hit a lot of push traps, we should be fine. We also still have the Bomber. And we only lost one Pekka this attack. That is really, really good for this, especially considering how sketchy it was looking. Okay, we're into the second stage here. How many Teslas were there? I think there might have been two. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There is one Tesla on this stage. Where do we get the most cannon cart value? I mean, obviously, it's anywhere on this section. We could take down a lot. Um... What do we use the battle machine for? If we take down this big section, make it a battle machine plus P.E.K.K.A. Take down these cannons and double cannons. And I think that's going to be what's best. So do we just run it? I think that's what we do. Let's go pause again. We're not going to be put them directly onto the auto outpost hut because there are a lot of times push traps all around there. We're going to try and avoid those. We, uh, you know, this was a really good first stage, but can we carry it over into the second stage? We're taking down our first cannon can we get to that double cannon if we can get both double cannons down i think this one is a guaranteed win we already got down the corner building as we saw so there isn't a whole lot more i need to worry about and again this these are all been back-to-back -back attacks if this one fails i'll still leave it in the video because you know there's no point in hiding fails everyone knows they're going to happen but um i don't think it will this one is looking really good at most it would be a time fail if anything but i i don't think it's even going to be that we're taking down both the double cannons and I'm wondering now, when do we start in the battle machine? Why don't we start it in now? We can also send in a P.E.K.K.A. onto the Elixir Collector. That should take out a good amount. And then once we're tanking for this cannon, which we are now, let's see if we can bomber. Perfect. Here comes a P.E.K.K.A. Here comes another P.E.K.K.A. Just a tank for that uh, multi-mortar. And now look at everything running around the base here. 
There's only one cannon and a multi-mortar left. There is the crusher. That is the only concerning part, but these cannon carts are going to take out the crusher. We have three spectators for reasons I can't explain. This has been a really, really solid attack once again. We have every single troop from the first stage is still alive. The battle machine still has his maxed out ability. Let's go ahead and use that. The bomber is just... He's just chilling up there, and that is going to be a really solid attack. So I think I've finally found a new strategy to help me push trophies. As you guys can see here, since we've done this video, we've attacked three people. All of them have been six stars. We don't need to worry about that attack below there. Let's not, let's not worry about that one. That one was 28 minutes ago. These have all been back to back to back since I started recording, and we are getting a lot of value with this battle copter. It's just so unstoppable. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, sorry for the lack of uploads. I've been, as I mentioned, moving apartments. It's a little bit catastrophic in here right now, but you wouldn't know, green screen. But thank you guys for checking this out. I hope you guys try out the strategy. The battle copter with the dropship is just so strong. It's probably this useful at lower levels as well. Remember, if you're planning on getting any of these cool special offers, you should totally use code AGA. It just helps support me. It means a lot to me. With that out of the way, though, I hope you guys enjoyed. See ya.